What is up guys, Paradox Seal here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. Today we are going to be making a simple server slash guild information command for our Discord bots. Now before we get into coding, I did want to talk to you guys about something in regards of my channel. And that is the Discord.py series. I hate to say it guys, but that series will be ending now. The reason why I say that is because I cover just about everything that the API has to offer apart from voice commands and a couple other small things like Spotify and Twitch. And uh, I want to continue to upload about it, however there's just not much for me to upload anymore. I basically covered, like I said, just about everything that um, it really has to offer. Um, that does not mean I will stop uploading Discord.py content. Um, despite this video you are watching right now not being a part of the series, um, I still upload things like this uh, just for like short little special tutorials that people would like to see. But uh, any like major um, uh, Discord.py video that showcases like a specific feature, um, as of right now there is no more of those to uh, upload. And I do apologize about that. However, when Discord uh, uh, updates its uh, software, um, Discord.py also updates as well, and whenever updates do come out for both, I will uh, make tutorials on how to use the new features that they have to offer. But right now, uh, basically just cover just about everything that the API has to offer. Now, I am going to be uploading a full course video in the near future, hopefully within the next month if everything goes according to plan. Um, however, uh, it will be taking me a long time to do because it is looking to be about an hour to two hours long. And uh, basically what the full course video uh, will be containing is everything that I have went over in the series. Um, plus a few extra things if I can fit it in there. And uh, yeah, so that will be coming out hopefully within the next month. Um, I will keep you guys updated on when I will be dropping the video. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into coding. So um, again, this is not part of the Discord.py series, by the way, guys. This is just uh, its own special tutorial. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and make our command. So I'm going to be doing this in our main file. Uh, you can do it in a COGS file if you want. However, uh, since this is a fairly small command, I'm going to leave it in here. So to get started, I'm going to type in at client.command. And I'm going to make my asynchronous function. I'm going to call it server info. I'm going to pass in ctx. And then I'm going to make my embed. So I'm going to call this info embed. And I'm going to set it equal to discord.embed. And I'm going to pass in a title, description, and color. So title. I'm going to make it an f string. And I'm going to put information about ctx.guild.name So uh, basically what I did here is I made a string with an F in front to make it an F string and it's basically going to be information about and then this here is going to input the server's name. Then for the description I'm going to write all public information about this guild slash server. And for the color, I'm going to make it green. However, you can make it whatever you want. Does not matter. Uh, you can even have it random if you really want to, but I'm going to leave it as green. Just because I like green. Now, uh, we need to set an, a thumbnail for the server, so uh, we need to set the thumbnail like this. It's going to pass in a URL. And uh, we're just going to type in ctx guild.icon so that way we get the server's uh, icon that uh, usually shows up like this here I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, leave that off to the side for now but uh just showing you what I mean by that and uh, after that we're gonna go ahead and add some fields and uh, I'm going to basically make this as a template for now 
and I'm going to copy and paste it a bunch. Whoops. I know I left a bunch of syntax errors, but this is just a template. For this one, I'm going to make this a name. And uh, I'm going to leave the value as ctx.yield.name, like I did up here. And this one's going to be ID. And I'm going to leave this as ctx.yield.id. And then for this one here, it's going to be owner. And this is going to return ctx.yield.owner. Uh, I don't know if you can mention it like by leaving dot mention at the end. Um, you can try, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, that is something you would probably want to test out on your own if you're worried about it. But I'm just going to leave it like this because it displays the name uh, practically the same way, except just can't click on it. But uh, yeah. So uh, for this one, I want to leave it as a members count. So I'm going to set this equal to ctx.guild.member count. Now, uh, alternatively, if you really want, you could leave it as members like that, and then just use the len function to actually count. However, uh, since uh, discord.py offers a member count attribute, um, that is not needed. However, using both uh, ways uh, gives the same result. Um, after that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, give the amount of channels there is. So, channel count. And actually, while we're at it, let's rename this to member count. Now, uh, as far as I know, there is no uh, channel count attribute, so we will need to use the len function for this. And uh, all we need to do is just type in len with the parentheses, and inside that parentheses, we just need to type in ctx.guild.channels. We can do the same thing with roles here. Roles count, or we can leave it as role count actually, makes more sense. And then we're going to use the len function again. .guild.roles. Um, now we can do uh, rules channel. And uh, let's actually put some colons on these. I forgot to do that. There we go. Alright, that looks better. And uh, to do that, it's just ctx guild dot rules channel there's also stage channel but uh surprisingly to me uh there is no announcements channel attributes uh there definitely should i haven't been able to found find it but um oh well but um now what we can do here is we could add a booster count and uh this is going to be ctx dot guild and uh, this one has a weirder name, although um, I can understand why. But uh, it is ctx.guild.premium subscriber count. That's oh, actually subscription count, sorry guys. I know it's a weird name for boosters. I would just named it ctx.guild.booster count. But um, the developers of Discord.py just use subscription count instead. But oh well, here's something you might want to keep in mind. And um, this one can be booster tier. And uh, this one is going to be ctx.guild.subscription or subscriber. Let me look. Oh, wait a minute. This is premium here it's just premiums here all right and uh let's do one for the booster roll and um this one's gonna be premium subscriber roll and i made sure of that all right now let's um do one let's do one last one for the creation date of the server created at or we could just use at like that, whatever you want to do. 
And uh, this one's a little tricky, so pay attention. Uh, what we're going to do is ctx.guild got created at, which you could leave it like this, but it leaves it in a format that is not very uh, easy to read. Um, whenever you're coding, a good thing to think about is how would grandma like to read it? And uh, what I mean by that is make this in a way where it's easy for your grandmother to read. Uh, even though you may understand what this is saying, um, others may not. So a good way to make sure it's formatted in a way that everyone can read, what we need to do is just type in dot dunder format dunder. And inside here, we are going to uh, pass in a string here, and it's going to be uh, percent %a, and then percent %d, and percent %b, I think, yep, percent %b, percent %y, and then at, and then hours, and then, uh, yeah. Yep, I think that's right. Uh, I'm gonna look again. Yep, so A, D, B, Y, at, and then H, M, S for hours, minutes, and seconds. Uh, yeah, I believe this is how we do it. All right. Uh, now, one last thing to do is just set the footer. And also, you can use this format in any way you want. Really, you can arrange it in any way you want as well. Um, what this format I just typed in, basically it shows the, uh, the day, week, month, year, and the hours, minutes, and seconds. And for the hours, minutes, and seconds, I believe it's in 24 hour time. Uh, I can't really remember, but we'll see here in just a second. Now, all we need to do is just type in, or uh, whoops, we need to pass in text here. So text instead of name. Make it an F string, and we're going to put requested by ctx.author.name. And then for the icon URL, we can just put in ctx.author.avatar. And uh, that's it. Now we just need to await it. Await ctx.send. Embed is going to be equal to info embed or whatever you have called the embed up here or whatever you declared it as. And that's it. Um, basically, what we do is we just used um, an embed here, and we and with the embed we made a lot of different uh, fields. Uh, containing lots of different guild attributes and how we find these guild attributes is by going on your browser and then going to the discord.py's official documentation which is discordpy.readthedocs.io slash en for english slash stable slash api.html and in here you can find all um the things that discord.py has to offer uh, since we're dealing with a server, we want to go down to Discord Models and click on Guild. And here's all the attributes you can use. Obviously, I didn't use all of these, but um, they're all there for you to use if you would like. And here's also some methods as well. So uh, that's how I uh, find all of these to use in my videos. I just look at the documentation and I test it out myself, see how it works, and then I record. But anyways, let's go ahead and run this bot and uh, see how it works. Let's just give it a second. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and go to Discord here. Pull it from my other monitor. And I'm going to go ahead and run the server info command. And uh, as you can see, we have our server's name, ID, the owner, which is me, the member count, channel count. Which, really, it shouldn't have um, five. But the reason why it does is because the channel uh, counts actually counts the categories as well. So, really, it should be three. But since I have two categories here, that's why it's doing that. I don't know why they have it to where it counts the categories, but it just does. 
But um, we also have the roll count as well. Because I know we have like a bunch of rolls in this server as well. And then we have the boosters uh, stuff, which is obviously zero and none. And then we have the create at. So it's Saturday, 26 November 2022. And then at, I believe it's like 8 p.m., maybe 7 p.m., somewhere around there. And then we have requested by Paradox Seal with my icon. Now the reason why the guild icon is not displayed here is because this server doesn't have one, which is why I'm going to go here and actually test this out myself by typing in server info. And as you can see, it displays my icon, which also if it's animated, it will work. So we have House of Code, we have me as the owner, 465 people in it, channel counts as 41, but it's actually supposed to be less, but it counts the categories. 32 rules, the, our rules channel that we have here, and the amount of boosters in our booster level, and our booster role, and our creation date. So uh, yeah, that's about it for this uh, video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember, I will be posting a full course video in the future on Discord.py, and uh, this video you're watching right now is not part of the Discord.py series. It is its own special little tutorial. So keep in mind, even though that this series is over with, I still will be posting content related to Discord.py. But uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to see videos just like this, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you guys would like to see other tutorials that are not related to Discord bots, but are related to Python, such as uh, Tkinter tutorials or Pygame tutorials or anything you want to learn about Python in general, let me know in the comments. Other than that, be sure to join my Discord server if you'd like to hang out with me or a bunch of other people, or if you would like to get some help on your code. Without further ado, you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.